repacking a uh, cylinder here, hydraulic cylinder. This is a uh, style that has the cap with the wire on it, block wire, which goes right there in that groove. This, uh, the seals in this, I'll put a picture in this video of the seals, but they were totally, totally shot. This, um, this particular setup, you're going to have, you got a hole right here, and that's where the wire comes out that holds it in. This is the wire here. This wire wraps up in there and holds that cap on there. So you just turn this, the cap that's sitting on here, you turn that until the wire starts coming out of that hole and rotate that cap till it comes completely out and then disassemble. So I got the piston seals on there. I had to take this <clears throat> inch and a half nut off this rod here and uh, put these seals on here. You want the lip want the lip facing out basically against your pressure pressure comes out of this hole here and then out of that hole there so this goes in the, the crane of my truck it's the extend the extend cylinder so it com seals are completely shot so I'm um, getting it back together right now I'll show you what the uh, that cap is I'll pull that cap out and reseal that too Seal, this is your dust seal right here. Hope you can see this. That's a dust seal there. You got your two seals down in here. You got the one there and then you got like I call it a backup ring. I don't really know what you call it, but just gotta kind of get under there and prime out. Alright, the dust seal's out of there. Get this wear ring out next here. Kind of get in there underneath it and pull it out. On two different pieces there. You got the skinny, I call it a wear ring. I don't know what the proper terminology is. There's your O-ring right there. You put down there in that second groove, clean this out really good, wipe it down, blow it off, and then put your seals in there. I just use the AW46 hydraulic oil and Get them down in there, make sure they're not twisted or nothing, and uh, I'll put it back on the rod. And the same goes for the the outer sealing rings here. You have a your uh, seal here. Just take that one off, and then you have a, a wear ring right here. It's a flat, it's a flat rubber ring right there. This is the, the uh, collar I was talking about for the the uh, dust, I call it the dust seal. Just kind of start it down in there and work it away, work it around the underneath that collar. Pop it underneath there, like so. Make sure it's seated all the way in there. Uh, there's a seal here. It goes underneath the uh, piston and seals that. So, put a little oil on here. Take this piston. It goes on like that. Before I do that, before I forget, this collar goes on there. on here I'm gonna tap tap that over the o-ring and I'll gun this nut back on there and put it back in the cylinder here which is uh, this is a little different because <clears throat> you got a counterbalance valve in here so when the crane when the booms up in the air um, if there is a problem and something breaks it'll slowly bring it back down if it releases pressure so it's not a, just a mad rush of fluid and the boom slamming back down 
So that's a counterbalance valve in there. And then on the other side, there's a check valve. That cap right there is a check valve. And then back here is where your fluid uh, pressure and return. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out. I'm going to have to pull that check valve out to get this thing back up in that cylinder to uh, release some of the pressure it's going to build when I push it back in. So I'll find out. It's a little different than your average cylinder. But the principles are the same as far as uh, resealing. Pretty straightforward. Uh, sometimes it can be a real headache getting these caps off out of the cylinder. And I just use a, a pipe wrench and just try to work it work it off of there. With I, I don't have any spanner wrenches um, that I've had a whole lot of luck with. I just have always been able to get them apart with a pipe wrench. So I'll put this back together and see if I can get that piston up in that cylinder. Okay, I got the rod and the cap back on the cylinder. This is the ring I'm talking about. There's a hole on that cap. Line it up with the slot on the cylinder. Take this end here, put it down the hole, and then turn the cap here. Turn it, you know, you'll be turning this one away from away from you. And that'll pull this wire down in there all the way around until you see this end come up on the other side here. And that's that's what keeps that cap in there. One's going in pretty easy. All I'm doing is just started it down in the hole and then turning the cap with my wrench. And it's just working itself all the way around that cylinder. And that cap. So it's a little different than most you see, you got threaded caps on them, but as long as these aren't rusted up, they're not too bad to do. Just keep working it down in there until you can see. The other end coming out, and obviously if you had to get it out again, you'd go the opposite direction. But I just kind of run that down though it's just barely visible. And let it sit at that. All right, I'm getting this uh, boom back in the uh, crane here. I just forked it up on that inside of that boom. There's the cylinder there run it through got to get your lines or hydraulic lines set up down there in the back of the crane and uh, I'm just bolting up these uh, graphite pads here putting those in there the sliders and then I got another section of boom to put on there and then I'll hook up the hydraulics and see what happens here